So it's Thursday. We got a storm rolling in. We're supposed to have thunderstorms tonight and in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, I think, as well. So just brought a tarp with me. But I'm in a tiny little kayak, as you saw. And I brought my Obus Form 85 liter backpack. I didn't, I don't have all the attachments with it. Um, so the wind's ripping pretty good right now. And it looks like, you see this fire pit, there's tomatoes in it that are fresh. And I saw a canoe going the other way with three people in it. So I'm assuming they were down here fishing, which really sucks because the whole purpose of this video was to do a catch and cook. Anyways, I'm in Muskoka. I'm on a small little piece of crown land. Well, it's not small. I'm in a small little section of it. And uh, I'm going to find a little place to set up. There's not really a lot for a tent or anything. But I got a brand new tarp and I've got that little wood stove. So now that the fire ban has been lifted in Muskoka, I thought I'd come out to the Crown Land and try a catch and cook. And then I just gotta find a place to set up this tarp. Anyways, I'm gonna get that stuff unloaded, maybe get my tarp set up pretty quick. And then uh, I'm gonna get some firewood and then I'm gonna try fish and try to catch myself some dinner. It's a little afternoon right now, I think. Yeah, anyways, I hope this works out. And I hope that tarp holds up. We'll see. Okay, so it's nothing fancy. I just kind of set it up like you would if you had the hammock. But I did leave this little opening for now. There's that, I can get all my gear in there. Yeah, so it's got all the parts here. You see, I really like the stitching on this tarp. I really do. Like they're they're heavy duty compared to my last tarp. I I really really like this. I wish I'd weatherproofed it before it came out, but I wanted to try it out. It's for the hammock. So yeah, and when I'm ready to go to bed, I will just drop this and do the same with this. So I've got two doors, and that's it. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some firewood, and uh, then I'm gonna go fishing.
I don't know if the GoPro got that or not. The battery said when I got back. There we go. We're going to do a little catch and cook. Woohoo! Anyways, I'm going to dispatch this and uh, I'll see you guys after I do that. So, they're not my greatest fillets. I had to hack it apart. Um, it was a smallmouth bass. And there were what looked like worms. Kind of yellowish ones all throughout it. So I had to pick them up and pick them out and hack it up. But uh, I had already dispatched it, so I didn't want to not I didn't want to waste it. So I don't know if they're going to make me sick or what's going to go on. But I'm going to try it. I have to. I took its life, right? So I got a little bit of a fire going just to get enough smoke. I got some damp wood and stuff just to get enough smoke to get these mosquitoes out of here. The winds have finally stopped. Yeah, I've only seen that once before. And I think that was on a Moon River trip. We got some mashed potatoes for a side. And I'm going to try this. It's called Ground Savory. It tasted really good at home. I don't know what it is. But it tasted good. I'm going to fry them in some coconut oil. Guess I should have found a level spot before I did this, eh? Yeah, it's just falling apart. Yeah, baby. So it's not cold out. <clears throat> I'm just wearing the sweater because of the mosquitoes. This has been a great day. Nice, relaxing, nice little spot. Maybe tomorrow when I wake up, we'll head over to Bear Lake. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe we'll save that for another day when I got my tripods and my cameras and stuff. All right. Nothing fancy. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen. That looks so good. Well, let's see what this savory is all about. Like I said, I hope those worms don't make me sick. I think I got most, I think I got all of them. Oh my God, that is so good. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't really know what those worms are all about. I'll have to research that. Anyways, folks, I mean, my dinner, I'll see you after dinner. Maybe we'll go out fishing again. Do some catch and release. Well, folks, that was an all right little day. Got a nice little smallie. Those worms, I don't know. They're yellow. I don't know anything about them. I think I got most of them out. See how I feel in the morning. It's absolutely beautiful here right now. Relax by the fire for a little bit. It's nice to be able to have fires again. So according to the weather network, we're only going to get a little bit of rain overnight, if any. The thunderstorms aren't going to be till the afternoon now. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll see how my tarp holds up. Maybe we don't. Anyways, folks, we'll see you in the morning. Get outside. I hope you had as good a day as I did. Good morning again. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why all the batteries are dead. Kind of screwy. I'm gonna go through these batteries. See if I can figure something out. I'd really like to take you guys fishing with me this morning before I go home. But if not, if not, good morning. Thanks for hanging out. Had a great little night. Go catch and cook. Anyways, if I don't see you out on the water fishing because my batteries are all dead, I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.